Hello, my purple bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we ran around, made it through Nugget Bridge, took on a bunch of different trainers, and met Bill Nye the Science Guy. In today's episode, we're going to continue our adventure, and if you guys remember, we bumped into a Team Rocket Grunt, and I think we saw another one up here. As you can see, the police is telling us that Team Rocket has been kind of infiltrating everything, running around, doing a lot of weird, evil things, and it looks like there's a Team Rocket Grunt right up here. Hey, stay out! It's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? Alright guys, so let's go ahead and take on another Team Rocket Grunt. And it's actually kind of crazy that there are so many around the area. You would think that the police would want to do something about it. I find it strange that the police doesn't do that much, but it's okay. I've received a lot of tips from you guys. I know that we actually have a lot of crazy things coming up. A lot of crazy stuff ahead of us. And I'm just kind of excited to see how it turns out. One of my favorite gyms is coming up. One that I really, really like. So I just hope that, you know, we can do our best on it and that we can do some crazy stuff. Now, one of the things that I want you guys to remember is that when we went to meet Bill, we obtained the SS ticket. And the SS ticket is what's going to help us to actually make it to the next few towns, which are going to lead to the next few gyms uh, and obtain certain things and things of that sort. But, you know, we'll see how it all turns out. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Did we level up? I think we did level up, didn't we? We're level 18. I'm going to go ahead and send out Doki. Now, there's a move we're about to learn right here that's actually going to help us a lot on our journey. So I'm kind of excited. hope you guys are having a good weekend. My weekend has been okay. Ups and downs, you know, just the usual thing. I know that the World Cup is on today. It's actually probably on, like, right now. Uh, I'm excited to see who's, you know, going to win. I was actually rooting for Brazil. I've always liked Brazil since I was a kid. But, it, you know, if you guys watched the last game, Brazil versus Germany, 7-1. to one. Not a lot of high hopes there. Uh, Brazil got knocked out really, really quickly. And it's kind of sad to see such a strong team uh, get knocked out like that. Oh, man, I completely forgot that. Drowsy has confusion. Psychic on poison. Not a good combination. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and finish off this guy then. I'm kind of just trying to make my way through as much as possible today because we have a lot of jam-packed stuff we need to do. Like, honestly, we have a lot of things we need to take care of. And I kind of just want to make it through here so we can keep on going. All right, with that, we defeated Drowsy. And now here's something magical that I've been waiting for that I'm sure you guys are excited for and you have been waiting for too. And here it comes. We got money. N no. Finally, it looks like Brinkar is evolving. I know we've been waiting a while for Brinkar to evolve. And I think it's finally about that time. I'm kind of glad that it's, you know, finally getting to evolve and we'll finally have, you know, our Pokemon kind of on a good evolution level. Now, one thing that I actually wanted to do, which I didn't get the chance to do, is actually make my way back to Mount Moon. Now, if I made my way back to Mount Moon, I can get a Moonstone. I was a little dumb and actually didn't get it in time. So it kind of sucks. I mean, I'm probably going to have to go back and get it myself eventually. I don't really know where else I can get a Moonstone. Uh, but with that, you guys can see that we actually obtained uh, a certain thing. So with that, I'm going to heal up and we'll be back in two seconds. Okay, guys, so I've gone ahead and healed up our Pokemon. With that, the move we just obtained in the TM uh, from defeating the Team Rocket guy was actually Dig. So I've gone ahead and taught Dig to our Nidoran. I think it's going to be a great move. Our Nidorino, I must say. And it's actually going to help us a lot with everything that's coming up. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way out of this route then. It's a little bit confusing at first. If you've never really played through this game, I can imagine how you can get confused pretty easily by being around here. But I'd like to call myself a Pokemon expert at this region and by that I mean not really. This is the only region that I've actually completed the Pokedex. I mean this region's Pokedex, not the national decks. But you know this was one of the first ones that I actually completed. I completed it with an old friend of mine. Uh, you know she did part of it, I did part of it, we switched on and off and it was kind of nice. It was something that we bonded over and I just remember you know spending up countless nights just like completing the Pokedex and it was really cool. I think it was one of the most fun things that I've actually had the chance to do. You know completing the Pokedex, it's just a blast. It's almost uh, diff it's almost like a whole game in itself, you know, having to run around and uh, do everything. It it's kind of cool, but I I've enjoyed it. I enjoy doing it. I haven't really filled up any other Pokedexes. This was the only one that I actually filled up, and I thought it was quite fun. So maybe eventually in the future, I'll fill up all the Pokedexes. I have a friend of mine. He actually has filled up every Dex, and I'm just like, dude, you are absolutely insane. I don't think I have the patience to do it. Like, collect all however many Pokemon there are now. I just really don't have the patience myself to do all that. Well, with that, we defeated the Spearow, and we're getting pretty close to the next town, which is pretty freaking awesome. There's still quite a bit we have to do, so uh, we'll see how it turns out. Ooh, Eradicate. I am going to switch out. I wish we had a stronger, like, fighting-type move to knock out some of these Pokemon. You know, one of the good things is now we have Dig. 
Dig is going to be very good against electric types. And hint, hint, wink, wink. I wonder what the next gym is going to be for those of you guys who have probably played through this one. Yeah, it's an electric type gym next. So it's kind of like a very convenient time. I think that's what this game used to do. Like, it just sets you up with a lot of really convenient items and that sort of thing. Just sets you up for success. I guess later on in games like X and Y and stuff, it kind of does that too by level ups. But, you know, in these gens, it kind of sets you up with items and Pokemons and TMs and that sort of thing. And it was up to you to discover it. So, you know, that's one of the good things. I feel like these games were almost a little bit more challenging, you know, to the point. I just felt like they were a little bit tougher and I feel like things have gotten all easier. Speaking of easier, you know it would be easy, Nurse Joy. If you would go on a date with me, you know what I'm saying? You want to make this a lot easier on me? You want to go down to the pier? You know, they have a nice little... Oh, no, you're not impressed by my three Pokemon? Oh, really? Our rival Sully has a bunch more by now? Thanks, I'm glad you saw him. I guess we might be battling him very soon. Okay, guys, we made it to Vermilion City. And it is from here where we're going to figure out where the heck we need to go. I actually need to buy myself some potions, too, before we go any further. Because I know, like, everything that's about to come up is going to be really, really tough. I'm actually a little bit... And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit nervous uh, for everything that's coming up. Okay, with that, let's buy the super potions then, guys, and make our way out of here, finally. Now, with the SS ticket, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, uh, we will be able to get on the SS Anne. Now, as you can see, here's the gym, but we can't really get through it because there is a little thing blocking the way, and that's why we have to go on the SS Anne. So this is a mandatory thing of sorts that you have to do. Now, one of the things that isn't mandatory is you don't really have to explore it, uh, that's up to you if you want to check it out and explore it and do all those sorts of things. For me personally, I will not be exploring it. I will just sort of be going straight to where we need to, which is right up here. Basically, we need to find our rival and the captain. And uh, right up here is where we're going to have another rival battle. So I'm going to go save and I'll be back with you guys in a couple seconds. Okay, guys, I've gone ahead and put Doki up in front and let's see what's going on. Bonjour, Rodri. Imagine seeing you here. Rodri, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already got 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for them. Here we go, Rodri versus... Soli. So let's go ahead and take on Soli then, and let's hope for the best, guys. He's got four Pokemon. I thought he had 40. you think if he had 40, he'd be whooping them out right now. But I can't really tell you what the heck he's been doing with his Pokemon. All right, let's make something happen then. Let's go for the Poison Sting. Hopefully, if we poison him, we can do things a little bit easier ah there we have it also i have a lot of super potions you guys saw me buy them i think those are going to help us out a lot i hate the fact that he's using sand attack because it's actually doki who i feel like we're going to have to rely on most for this i know it's just going to be a pretty tough battle uh i think what makes it tough is just the fact that we don't really have that many pokemon and that much variety of moves right now we pretty much just have grass fighting you know uh ground and and just some flying type moves nothing too crazy but hopefully it'll be enough to take down Sully here. And I think, I believe in ourselves. I hate the fact that he used a freaking sand attack on us. But I do believe that we can do it. Let's go ahead and do this then, Doki. Pull it together, my man. Pull it together. One double kick and I'm sure he'd be down. There we have it. Perfect, guys. With that, we defeated Pidgeotto. And that is the first of Sully's Pokemon. We didn't even take a hit, which actually, which actually makes me kind of happy. We didn't do, like, a whole lot there. We gained some XP, and then let's see what's coming up next. All right, we're trying to learn the move Horn Attack. Now, a lot of you guys told me it's about this level that I should probably evolve our dude, Horn Attack. I think I'm actually going to get rid of Poison Sting. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Poison Sting for now. I just It's not that strong, and I'm sure we can learn a better move later on. All right, guys, with that... We forgot Poison Sting, we learned ourselves Horn Attack, and yeah, you guys told me that this is about the level that I should evolve it, and that's what I'm going to do. Next up is Kadabra. I am definitely going to switch out for a Kadabra. I think Bolin should have a pretty good shot at taking it out. If he can't, then uh, it's going to be nerve-wracking here. Here we go, guys. Fingers crossed. Let's dot our eyes, cross our T's, and let's do this thing. Let's go for the Sleep Powder. It, can eat, what is that? Kinesis? Uh, telekinesis, that sort of thing? I, I really don't know. I can't tell you there. At least we're out-leveling it. So hopefully we can do some good damage on it. You know, one of the pros of having Sleep Powder is the fact that you can take on Pokemon that could pretty much whoop you. I know this guy has some moves that could really do some damage to our team. So it's kind of great that he's asleep, isn't he? Doesn't that just make life a little bit easier? I know it definitely makes life easier on me because we are one attack away. Oh, he woke up. No! Wait, disabled? Sweet, he missed. I thought that was a Super Potion. I was like, no, Sully's using a Super Potion. That's really going to suck. All right, who's coming out next then? We gained a ton of XP. Holy crap. Next up is Charmeleon. 
and I am going to switch out. For Charmeleon, we are going to bring out Doki, because if you guys remember, we have the move Dig, and that's actually going to help us out a lot to take on this Charmeleon. By a lot, I mean, yeah, it's actually going to help out a ton, uh, because it's going to be pretty effective on it. I'm kind of nervous, though, because I know Charmeleon's like a super strong Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon, if you guys don't know already, is Charmander. Uh, Charizard's probably like in my top five of favorites, too. So I, I kind of feel bad that I'm like having to take one out just because I really like love that Pokemon. It's, it's one of my favorites. Oh, there we have it. See, guys, one of the pros of using the moves that it tells you to. It helps you out a lot. If you follow what the game says, you can be pretty successful at it. I'm not even sure who the last Pokemon is uh, for Sully. So I just hope that, you know, it's someone easy for us to take down. I really am not too sure who it is. With that, Charmeleon is down, guys. And we are ready to keep on moving. Okay, so let's see who's going to come out next then. We gained a ton of XP. And with that, we are going to be taking on Raticate. Okay, perfect. Like, we can do this. I'm feeling this. I don't even want to use a potion for it because I feel like our Pokemon are strong enough to take it out. We have double kick, thank goodness. Oh, crap. Is that going to do a ton to us? It might do a ton to us. Oh, man. This is nerve-wracking. We did so much damage to it. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I believe in our team. We have two other very strong Pokemon ready to do this. I think Doki's probably going to go down, but, you know, Doki did an amazing job. So let's go ahead and switch out then. Let's go ahead and bring out Brinkar. And Brinkar should be able to finish off the job here, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing quite awesome here. Oh, I didn't mean to go for the tackle. That's okay. That's still going to take it down. I actually meant to go for the quick attack there. I just spam buttons too much when I get a little bit nervous. All right, with that, Raticate is down, and we have defeated our rival. So high fives all around, guys. Good job. We did something right. What is this madness? What could it be? I don't know. We defeated rival Sully. Hmm. At least you're raising your Pokemon. We got 720 for winning. I heard there was a cut master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. See you later, Sully. All right, guys. He told us about the move cut, and that is the HM that's going to help us here. What's up, Captain? All right, you hideous. I'm seasick. We are such nice people. We rubbed his back. Rub, rub, rub a dub dub. We rubbed his back. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my price cut technique if it weren't so ill. I know you can have this. So with that, guys, we have finally obtained HMO1 cut, and that is what's going to allow us to make it to the gym. I know. So there's a lot more things you could actually do here. You can explore around. You can probably find a bunch of items and that sort of thing. It's probably a good place for you to train, too. So if you're underleveled at this point, I'd highly suggest it. I'm actually at a pretty good level with my Pokemon, and I feel pretty confident that I can take on the coming gym. So with that, we are going to be done here in the SS Anne. Wave goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. The ship is leaving us. Goodbye, SS Anne. Thank you for all the small, short memories. I remember people used to tell me, like, you could surf around here and find, like, this truck and Mew would be in it. Don't fall for that. I used to fall for that a lot as a kid. I used to try a bunch of weird things, and it just never happened. All right, well, the SSN is gone. And with that, guys, we have finished what we needed to on the ship, which is actually pretty great. Next time, we are going to be able to enter Vermilion City's gym. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up with this gym, let me know. We also have the TM cut, so or the HM cut. So if you guys know a good HM slave, let me know too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.